Okay guys, it's Miss Wakefield and I'm going to show you guys two things in this video. One, I'm going to show you how to connect with our Google Classroom. Two, I'm going to show you how to access your email addresses. So you're going to go for Google Classroom, you're going to go to Clever, just like you always do um, for your iReady. You're going to log in with your username and password. Guys, this is the username and password you've been using all year long to log on to the emails. Uh, I mean, excuse me, to log on to the computers and stuff at school. There should not be anybody that doesn't know their login information. MCPSS.com. I'm using Bryson's here, so you can I can use it from a kid's point of view. And then here you're going to enter your password. Um, and sign in. Okay, now the next step you're going to take is going to your home page. All right, where is the home page on here? Okay, so you're not taking an iReady test, okay? You're going to actually scroll down and you will see Google Classroom. Click Google Classroom. It might ask you for your username and password again, and you'll click Go to Google Classroom. And then this screen is gonna come up right here, and it's asking you to choose which account you want. You're going to have to add your school email again. I know this is repetitive, but um, once you are logged in, you should just be able to um, touch it all and not have to type it in every time. All right, uh, stu.mcpss.com. All right, so next, verify that it's you. You'll only have to do this one time. Okay, now, both of Bryson's classrooms show up here, okay? You will have nothing here. You will come up to this arrow right here and hit, as a plus sign, and hit join class, and you'll enter my classroom code if you are in my homeroom, and Miss Peru's classroom code if you are in her homeroom. Okay, hopefully everybody, everybody understands that. Now, your classrooms, once you have them, will show up. You'll, it'll say right here, Miss Peru, or it'll say Miss Wakefield. And when you click on it, it kind of looks like a Facebook wall almost or, or a social media page. It has um, information and stuff listed here. Now, you're not going to have any assignments yet because we're not starting till Monday. Now, I'm going to show you how to access your email and your little MCPSS back office, so to speak. So you're going to go to www.mcpss.com and it's going to have a coronavirus pop-up that you will close. Maybe it won't. Um, and then you're going to go here where it says Our Students. You're going to click on Our Students. And it's going to bring you to a login page. See, I should have signed out of this too. I'm sorry. Okay, so it's going to bring you to a login page where you will sign in. Oh, that's my dog. Sorry. Papa Push. Okay. See, this is the joys of working from home. Animals and... Um, all that good fun stuff. Okay, so our students, okay, now you're going to type in your email address. You're going to type in your password again. And you're going to sign in. Now this takes you to your MCPSS back office, so to speak. Okay, it's got all this stuff here. You're going to come up to this little honeycomb to find your mail. So there's your mail. There's Microsoft Word if you wanted to type Word. There's PowerPoint if you wanted to make a PowerPoint. Here's your OneDrive where you can save all your documents. So look, I'm gonna check Bryson's mail. And it's actually checking my mail, sorry guys. But you get the idea, okay? So yours is gonna look just like this. And if you scroll down, 
you will have all of these student apps here available to you, including Clever. So that's another way you can get into Clever. All right, so you can go into Clever, and there it takes us back to that same screen where you can do iReady, Google Classroom, Discovery Ed. You can also take accelerated reader tests while you're at home because you all should be reading. And then all these other different cool things that they have. So guys, everything's right here at your disposal. Okay, and the honeycomb up here is what you click to check your email. Hope this helps. Love you guys. I can't wait to talk to you again on Monday.